S&P 500 index has been the massive outperformer over the nine and a half years of the bet. Yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll absolutely kill every one of the fund of funds. And bear in mind, each one of the fund of funds had a strong financial incentive to pick the best funds they could find 10 years ago. I mean, it meant real right, money five, to five them. Five funds. Yeah. So it, 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 it was overwhelming. And uh, uh, passive investment, you know, I've, I've written about it. Passive investment in aggregate is going to be active investment because of fees. You, you did this as a result because you wanted to show people that they didn't need to be trying to beat the market all the time, that they could just be investors over the long haul and that would be a way to make money. And, yeah. they, and that they didn't have to pay 2 or 3% a year to somebody uh, to get those. Uh, and average results were going to be very good. Right. And they were good. They've been good all my life. And in these 10 years, they've been good. You've done perfectly okay with passive investment. Actually, you've done great with passive ingress, investment, especially the last seven or eight years. There are people out there who are saying, oh, he just got lucky. He picked the right 10 years. He did it right before quantitative easing came along. There's a guy, Mark Yusko at Morgan Creek, who's been saying he wants the next 10 years bet and thinks he can outperform in that time. What do you, what do you say to somebody well, like that? Well, they'll put up a substantial part of their net worth. I get letters all the time from people who say, I'd like to do it. I'll put up $100 and, you know, or something. And they'll right. become famous. So they, they love the idea of, of me giving them a lot of publicity. If anybody wants to put up a significant percentage of their net worth. A uh, million dollars? Does that cut it still? It, it think just depends on their net worth. Okay. Uh, but if they, if they want to put up a significant percentage of their net worth, their family's net worth, and they want to make a bet on 10 years on, on active versus passive, uh, you know, maybe that my estate has to be the one to settle with them. I mean, at 87, anything involving 10 years is kind of... Uh, a triumph of hope over statistics, but the, uh, nevertheless, uh, the, the ones that have written me, they really want to get their name in the paper, you know, okay. basically. But you'll, you'll take anybody who puts up a substantial portion of their net worth, you'll take that bet. They can, they can pick a group, you got to pick a group, uh, you know, because and, and, I'm picking a group of 500 in the right. S&P, and uh, they can pick the date of the start. The date of the start had nothing to do with it. And the truth is the markets behave fairly typically in terms of, of aggregate return for the decade. Uh, this is not some extraordinary period in the least. Uh, there's nothing unusual about this. The thing that was unusual was the size of the fees, and that's ate them alive, basically. Right. The managers of these funds did very well during this period, and the managers of the underlying funds did very well, and their investors got killed compared to something they could have done. You know, one quick